Hi, I'm Alan. This is Alan's Firearms and Guns Plus More. And today we have a 1911. It's an actual Colt Defender. The Colt Defender is a micro 1911, so it's nice and small compared to a full size 1911. It has a six round magazine. Let's make sure it's safe. Yep. Uh, it's a single action gun. It's got McCormick style sights, which we'll show you at the workbench. It has got a plastic trigger that has been skeletonized and a skeletonized hammer. Uh, it's got a nice big beaver tail so you don't have to worry about a uh, slide bite. And it's got the passive safety on your grip safety with what they call the memory button on here. Why they call it a memory button, I don't know. It's not important enough for me to find out. It's got rear serrations, and other than that, it's, uh, oh, and it's got pack more, black pack more grips on it. Other than that, it's like a any other 1911, but this is camless, so we're going to bring this to the workbench, field strip it, clean it, lube it, and put it back together again. Here we are at the workbench with the Colt Defender. This is the box that it comes in. It's kind of a big box for this little gun. comes with two magazines. Comes with a key and lock, comes with an Allen key to adjust for sight adjustment. Let's put this aside and take a look at the firearm itself. It's pretty nice. It's a Colt. And like I said, Colt has uh, been bought and sold, and it's not the same company our, as our Grant Pampies. Um, Colts were. And this is the Defender, and this definitely was carried by someone. I can tell from some of the wear marks and stuff. And it's got um, Packmar grips on it. I believe that this actually came with Packmar grips. This does not have the traditional lug on the front. It has the um, McCormick type sights. There's the sight picture. Um, three dots, two white in the back, one white in the front, they're not night sights, they're regular sights. And how do you take this puppy apart? Well, first, let's make sure it's empty. Um, you pull the slide three times. I'm not going to do that. You guys know why. Look down the chamber and the magazine well to make sure it's empty. Okay. The gun checked for safety. Now, how do you take this gun apart? Well, in this case, we just bring... You can see here there is a crescent moon cut. We're going to bring that crescent over the top of this and we're going to bring that slot over the top of this. So we get it there and we just pull it straight out. Now we can come forward and we just remove it just like that. Now we can take this, bring it up over our cam. We can take out the inner, inner uh, block cam and move that forward and take it apart. So it comes apart pretty damn easy. I mean, it's not like a Kimber where you need the the whole um, bobby pin or a safety pin or whatever to get it apart. They're, they were able to accomplish an inner cam system without that stupidity. So hats off to Colt and all the other people who figured it out. So now, how do you clean this? Very simple. Just like all 1911s, we're going to take, I use Strikehold, it's a CLP, which means it cleans, lubricates, and protects. It's a one chemical solution. If you want to know more about it, look at one of my videos on, on in my channel, explain this product. Leave it to say is I clean it with this and I don't have to do anything else. However, since there are a lot of people still using the one process cleaners, I will show you how to lube a gun, this gun, when I'm done cleaning it. Okay, so I'm going to wipe down all the flat, easy to get to areas that I can with my fingers. Then I'm going to take a stick and I get all the tight places, like the slide slots. Yeah, it's got some dirt in there, all right. I'm going to get this nice and clean for the new owner, whatever it might be. Okay, 
So any place that I can't get to with my finger, I'm using this stick to clean it. Now, there's some cuts in here that match up with the cuts on the barrel. And we want to make sure all those cuts are clean. Those are the locking lugs. And that's what your barrel locks up on when it's in battery position to keep it accurate. Okay, so now I got all that done. I'm going to wipe now. Since this is a protectant, I'm going to wipe down the outside of this gun with it. And then I also want to show you something really important. Getting the battery clean. So I'm going to put this on the stick. And I'm going to clean the battery. And I'm going to make sure I get underneath the extractor. Because if your extractor is dirty, after a while it builds up enough dirt, it will ride up over a round and you can have a catastrophic accident. Or, at the very least, a jam at the worst possible moment. Okay, now I'm going to wipe down the outside of the barrel. I'm going to make sure I get into those locking cams, the locking lugs, make sure I get my cam clean, get the, make sure I get the ramps on the barrel clean, make sure I get the inside of the chamber clean, spend some extra attention on that, get the barrel nice and clean. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the frame. So I'm going to make sure I get the frame slots clean, both sides. Wipe down all the metal inside the gun. Now, anytime you have rubber grips on a gun, don't use regular gun cleaner on it. Make sure you get this feeding ramp here nice and clean. Um, take the grips off. Unscrew the grips. Take them off. Because if you get regular gun cleaner on here, the, the soft rubber, it's going to destroy them. Um, the, hard, the hard rubber ones, um, or the polymer ones, after a while, they'll stain it out, so you got to keep it off of there. If you get on it, deactivate it with, with, deactivate it with oil. And that's what you're going to have to do. Okay, you saw I just mopped out that area. I'm going to clean off this, the guide rod, the spring, put the spring back on, same direction, clean off my cam. My slide stop and barrel pin combination and there we go. And I'm gonna get underneath the feeding fingers. And there, that's cleaned. Now all we have to do is lubricate it. So like I said, with that I don't have to lubricate it, but I'm gonna show you what to do. Three drops of oil on, on a cloth. Do not put it directly on the gun. Put it on your stick. The places you actually need lubrication are the slots in the frame and the slide. So I'm going to hit the slide slots, both of them, a couple of times. And then to deactivate the cleaner, I'm going to wipe it down with that oily rag. And I'm going to make sure I get all the area is touched with cleaner. I'm going to hit it with oil. Okay, so that's done. Wipe down the cam with oil, the pen. Anything I touched with cleaner, I have to wipe down with oil so it deactivates the cleaner. Otherwise, it's going to keep eating away my finish. And I'll start seeing bluing, if it's a blue gun, disappear, and rust appearing. And if it's a stainless steel gun, it's going to dull it. Okay, so wherever I touched it with cleaner. Now, when I get to the frame, I start with a new cloth. Three drops of oil, because I want to make sure the places that need lubrication have enough oil on here to get them lubricated. The slots onto 
three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And now I just wipe down all the metal on the inside with oil. Okay, and wherever I touched it with oil, you're going to hit it with cleaner. So now we're ready to put it back together again. It's a simple process. Slide the barrel in, in the front of the gun. Put your cam in with the little groove down. Put your spring inside your cam and this goes on with that little quarter moon, or crescent moon facing down. Slides go on in the frame. Bring this back. Now what you want to do is you want to get this started like that and what you do is if you put this right behind, see this is a push pin right here. Now it's called an idiot mark. People push this down and in and you leave a scratch mark here. In order to avoid that, all you have to do is put it in front of the pin without touching the gun. Move this there and with something just push that pin in and it will go in. I use a punch. You can use a little flat screwdriver or something. Just push that pin in and then it'll go, just go straight in without leaving an idiot mark. Okay, so let's do a function check. Trigger works. Slide lock works. And trigger works. There we go. Let's check, make sure this safety works. That rear safety works. Put that safety on, hold this. That safety works. Fires. And there you go. The Colt Defender 45. Hope you enjoyed. Come back next time. Please like and subscribe.